In this video, I will describe how to accurately document vaccines after administration. Best practice includes recording immunizations in both the medical record and an immunization information system if appropriate. In addition, give the parent, patient, or guardian a record of the vaccine administered. Accurate documentation is necessary to properly assess for needed vaccines and can help prevent administration errors. It is important that immunization providers know the federal requirements for documentation. The requirements are defined in the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act. This applies to all routinely recommended childhood vaccines. Despite the name of the act, the documentation requirements also apply when documenting vaccines given to adults. The following information must be documented in the patient's paper or electronic medical record or in a permanent office log. The date the vaccine is administered, the vaccine manufacturer and the lot number of the vaccine, the date the vaccine information statement or VIS was provided to the parent, patient or guardian, the VIS edition date located in the lower right corner on the back of the VIS, the name and title of the person who administered the vaccine, and the address of the facility where the permanent record will reside. Best practice guidelines for documentation also include the vaccine's expiration date, the route and site of administration, and the dosage or volume. In addition, vaccines should be recorded in an immunization information system if appropriate. Your state or facility may require additional documentation. The National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act requires that a VIS must be given to a parent, patient, or guardian before administering vaccine. A VIS must be provided prior to every dose of vaccine, not just the first dose. The vaccine MMRV, or ProQuad, is the only combination vaccine with its own VIS. The other combination vaccines do not have their own VIS. For example, Pediorix is a combination vaccine containing DTAP, polio, and hepatitis B vaccines. There is not a VIS for Pediorix. Instead, the vaccine information statements for DTAP, polio, and hepatitis B should be given and documented. A list of standardized vaccine abbreviations is available on the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices webpage. These abbreviations provide a uniform approach to vaccine documentation and can help prevent confusion. Federal law does not require a parent, patient, or guardian to sign a consent form in order to receive a vaccine. Providing them with the appropriate vaccine information statements and an opportunity to ask and answer their questions is sufficient. It is also important to document when recommended vaccines are refused. The American Academy of Pediatrics has a form available on their website that can be used to document when parents refuse vaccines. This video is part of a series demonstrating vaccine administration skills and best practices. The video is available on the Vaccine Administration webpage on the CDC Vaccines and Immunizations website at www.cdc.gov/vaccines.